Welcome back. Well, it's just past two in the afternoon in Dublin and early results show Ireland has voted to allow same-sex marriage in a historic referendum. Now, this would make the traditionally Catholic country the world's first to make the change after a popular vote. Well, soon after the vote count began, some leading no campaigners conceded defeat. Around 3.2 million people were eligible to vote in Friday's referendum and reports suggest there was a higher than expected turnout, a testament to the passions the issue has inspired. Same-sex marriage is currently legal in 19 countries worldwide. I'm just so proud to be Irish today. It's been a, a, a very emotional journey for many people who have been campaigning on this. A huge amount of personal stories have been told in rooms and, and halls around the country and on the airwaves. Um, I don't think Ireland can ever go back after this. We've, we've made a resounding statement about what we, what we believe in. And let's speak now to Dublin-based reporter Richard Chambers, who's been closely following the referendum. Richard, uh, could you give us a sense of what's the mood like there? Yeah, good afternoon, Gerard. It, it really is a jubilant mood, I think, is, is the fairest way of describing it. I mean, I'm here in the Central Can Centre in the RDS, just on the south side of Dublin, where uh, most of the, the Dublin uh, local electoral areas have been filing in their votes. Um, the turnout in this has been absolutely massive. We've had up to 70% and beyond, uh, which is completely unprecedented for a constitutional referendum in Ireland. Normally, we'd see turnouts of even below 50%. So for this to be pushing upwards of 70, it really is a huge, huge change. Uh, uh, change and it just shows the scale of how much this has engaged the Irish people and as you say at the top of the report uh, it is a traditionally Catholic country so this is something which just demonstrates the speed of social change and uh, moral questions in Ireland that the church which had such a stranglehold or such a prominent position anyway uh, in Ireland since independence almost a century ago uh, now really despite their best efforts uh, has very little say on the political uh, dealings of Ireland. Richard, if you look at the vote tallies, were, was there a significant yes vote in the more traditional and conservative constituencies? The yes vote was strongest uh, in the more built-up and uh, urban areas, of course, Dublin, uh, Cork and Limerick, the main cities of Ireland, they all returned strong yes votes. But what was interesting was, despite some fears on the yes side that there would be some uh, uh, counties in across Ireland where which would be more rural, where it would be more traditionally Catholic and conservative, that despite those fears that they would return no votes, it seems that most counties in Ireland are actually going to return a pretty substantial yes vote. So that is something which is a bit of a surprise. Um, Speaking to yes campaigners over the past few months, they were anticipating that this would pass, but by something in the margin of like 55% to 45%. This seems to be 66 to 33 at the very least, so it is quite surprising. Uh, we are still waiting for final declaration, which should come at some time about, about 4 o'clock this afternoon, so in a little over two hours' time. Um, the street parties, I do understand, are already beginning in Dublin city centre. Uh, there's a massive screen that's been set up at Dublin Castle, where as many as 3,000 people are expected to turn out to watch that declaration and to really start the party. Richard, were there any constitu constituency that voted no? In other words, there were the more no votes than yes? Not yet. We have seen, uh, we have, we're still waiting for final results for some of them. There's some of them which are a little bit close. Uh, Leitrim, which would be uh, right in the Midlands of Ireland, seems the most likely to return a no vote, if any. But still, that is very much in play. So it, it, it does uh, appear to be a matter that this has been an overwhelming uh, yes vote. Uh, I've been speaking to no campaigners here uh, who say that they are happy to accept that it's been defeated across the country. Uh, it's something which perhaps they might not have expected as well, but they are prepared to accept the will of the Irish people and that this is something, uh, despite their arguments about uh, parentage and adoption, uh, they were the main issues which they had argued this referendum on. It seems the Irish public has completely rejected that and they're happy to accept that. All right, Richard, we'll have to leave you there. Thank you so much for updating us. That was a Dublin-based reporter, Richard Chambers, with the latest on Ireland saying yes to legalising gay marriage in a landmark referendum.